Hey everybody, it is Larry here with Living Like Larry. Today I'm coming from with you from the Cuyahoga Valley National Forest National Park at the Scenic Railroad Station. We're taking a train ride through the park. Should be really pretty. Behind me, we have the river with some waterfalls over there. We have some people kayaking over there, but we're gonna take the railroad through here and see how that looks. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of this type of stuff and you like the content of my channel, subscribe. And thanks for joining me today along the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. Right now we are in the town of Peninsula, Ohio. Just a small town here in Summit County, I believe. Right here in the National Park. This sure is beautiful here. Got these waterfalls. They have a lot of bike trails, walking trails through this park. A lot of it follows the railway, so we should get some really beautiful views. We had to park back in lot 29. Just a real short walk here up to the station. And again, a beautiful river running through here. And here comes the train. Nice and loud. The Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad engine. Tickets for this were $18 for an adult, and I think maybe $13 for a child. So not terrible. It's about a, a two and a half hour train ride round trip, which is what I'm taking. Through the National Park, it runs from here all the way into Akron. The Cuyahoga National Park is located between Cleveland and Akron. Really beautiful here, a lot of hills, a lot of valleys. So, we're going to get on this train. And again, thanks for coming along on the ride. That's number four. <laughs> Which is us. So, we're going to board here on number four. Okay, so we're going this way now. Back. How are we doing? Oh, part four. Part four. 
Yep, go ahead in and you're gonna go to the left. Okay. Hold on. Excuse me. Sorry. And here we are boarding. Okay, so Emily, you can sit right here then. The only thing is, windows seem a little dirty, so I don't know what kind of footage I'll be able to get from here, but I'm going to really try. It is air conditioned, and the cold weather be heated. Put your hand in mine Together we can fly Over mountains, rivers, ocean blues As long as I'm with you Maybe we could go To a place that no one knows Fall asleep on the old oak tree Memories of you
Rexville is as popular as you can probably tell. It's popular for bikers and kayakers. Uh, earlier in the year, with our uh, Explorer program, we got really popular amongst the kayak crew. And so we have an extra baggage car that they put on solely for kayaks. It's pretty neat. Ten dollars for a single kayak and fifteen for a double for bikes or kayak or for bikes or hikers. It's five dollars, and that covers you one way. You go one way on your bike or kayak and take a free bag. The bridge that we are going underneath is the most photographed bridge in the national park. It's called the Route 82 Bridge or the Rexville Northfield Bridge. Some of you may know this, but an interesting trivia fact is uh, a number of years ago, about nine years ago in 2012, people my age decided that it was a great idea to buy explosives and try and blow it up. Fortunately for the rest of us, they failed because the FBI foiled their plan. And they were undercover and sold them the explosives. And uh, the next day, when after they planted the charges, they came back down to, to blow it up. And the FBI said, uh, I don't think so. Or you're under arrest. So if you look out to the left, this is the marsh where the eagle's nest is. Up high in the back right corner, you can see the nest. In just a moment, we're almost there. We start scanning the tops of the trees. I haven't seen the eagle yet today. There's a couple of them that are in the park area here. Uh, I haven't seen it today, but I saw them last weekend, so I know that they're still here. Look in the back, straight back, uh, up top, you can see the nest. It's about a half a ton's worth of wood. It's quite large. Straight back right away. There it is. Did you all see it? So now we're in the train yard. It looks like they have about four or five different trains. One over there. Two or three on this side. Smell some popcorn. 
nice selection of beers, water, beef jerky. So I'm gonna get some food here and head back. And here we are at another stop, Rockside Road. I made a trip up to the cafe car. Got me a raspberry ale. Unleash the unleash the flavor. Ale infused with natural raspberries. Look at that try. Thirsty Dog Brewing Company. Never tried it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Looking back as far as I remember the voices in my head. They can't reach the outside world They try so hard but choke in the moment Oh, will I ever know? Will I always be alone? Why can't I change my world? Every step the earth begins to sunder I'm sinking with the weight I'm carrying And the sun bringing in the new day Always lets me change my
Okay, there she goes. Done with her trip on the Cuyahoga Valley Railway. And I, they actually have a dinner trade here as well that they use. But, uh, or they have a dinner train. I think it's later at night. Not sure if they use the same cars for that. I said they have many, many trains. But for this is the first time I've been on a train, so it was different. I expected it to be more scenic, but it was okay. It didn't cost that much. Like I said, $18, so not bad. But again, thanks a lot for coming along with me on my trip down the Cuyahoga Valley Railway. This is Larry with Living Like Larry. And as I said before, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And as always, be nice to everyone. Thanks for watching.